Liaoning Provincial Museum exhibits various manifestations of an embellic object of the Keaton nationality, the crest-shapen canteen. The Keaton is an ancient nationality of northern China. In 907 AD, their leader, Ye Lu Abo Ji, founded the Liao Dynasty, which at the time was the mightiest kingdom in northern China. The early Kitans were a nation of nomadic herdsmen for whom the horse, the sword, and the leather canteen were indispensable. The latter was used for carrying water and liquor and would become the model for the crest-shaped canteen. The old leather canteen was conveniently portable. However, it was difficult to keep water or liquor from going bad when these were carried in it for long periods of time. This problem was overcome when 1,000 years ago, the leather canteen was introduced into the central plains during the Tang Dynasty's times. Chinese artisans created porcelain canteens modeled on the leather ones, keeping them portable. However, they also added a handle to their designs, and this innovation received a warm welcome among the Kitars. In 907 AD, after the foundation of the Liao Kingdom, its rulers went through great pains to absorb the culture of the Han people and this led to Han artisans migrating to the Liao Kingdom to produce porcelain works. This is how the porcelain crest-shaped canteens came into being. The canteens mostly use white, green, brown, gray, and tricolor glazing. They can be roughly divided into perforated canteens and those with a handle. The earlier one was the perforated crest-shaped canteen with its short, flat body and semicircular base. The small orifice was used to pass a string through and make it easier to carry on horseback. Because of the remarkable resemblance of its top part to a coxcomb, it quickly earned the moniker crest-shaped canteen. Developing from an earlier design, a two-camel humps canteen with two orifices instead of one emerged. Some even had small figurines sculpted onto it. Its shape went from being round and flat to a longer flattened model. One of the orifices was used to secure the lid onto the canteen, while the other retained its original use of fastening it to the horse's back. The crest-shaped canteen with a handle originating in China's central plains and was then incorporated into daily use with the Kitan territories. The earliest canteens with the handle are short, flat, and round. Later, they would gradually grow taller with round circular bodies and an added base at the bottom which further enriched the piece. The changes in the crest-shaped canteen follow those in the lives of the Kitar people. From a nation of nomads, they were perforated canteens as well as suited for long journeys on horseback. The Kitars became sedentary people. The tall canteens with a round base and handle thus became popular for use at home. From the leather canteens to these crest-shaped porcelain water jugs, this evolution serves as an epitome to the continuous process of assimilation and cultural exchange between the nationalities of China throughout its history. From its appearance, we can grasp how the porcelain canteen retained aspects of the leather one. This dark brown porcelain canteen with two orifices has the stitches and pins of the leather canteen carved into it with astounding realism. This white glazed canteen with green laces has modeled thongs that recreate the fringes of the leather canteen. However, with the passage of time, artisans turned to carving peony blossoms and other decorative elements into their works. The crest-shaped canteen represents the apex of the Liao Kingdom's porcelain art. Because these were only produced during the kingdom's short reign of 200 years, the pieces that remain from that period are preciously few and truly unique national treasures.